what's up guys uh happy wednesday morning uh i just got done i i just uh i've only done one trip this morning it was to the airport on the way back i got a notification about the simple driver and his video his reaction to the rideshare professor's video and um you know what the funny thing about Calvin is, is like, you can tell that's a person that's really proud of himself. You know, like he's, he's really proud of the things he's done. And like, I don't know him personally, obviously. And he seems like he runs good businesses outside of rideshare. But my complaint against him is my complaint against anyone who provides rideshare related content. Um, sorry. Sorry. Um, is that I don't think you should be providing rideshare related content unless you're actually out there ride sharing, right? That just, that just does not make sense to me. I, I don't, you could talk about how every Uber driver should start his own website. No, they should not. They don't have to. That's and the income you're telling drivers because that's what you're making. Yeah. Okay, let me explain something to you guys. If the rideshare, if 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 the simple driver, if the simple driver is getting all this traffic to his simpledriver.com website, you just his last video just showed why that's possible. Because he's running, he might be running advertisements. Um, he might be running advertisements from his other websites to the simpledriver.com. That's that's how you could potentially start seeing the ten thousand dollars a month in ad revenue and Amazon affiliate money, and you know. So I think he didn't expose himself, but now we know how he amassed such a large um, social media following on YouTube for Rideshare. He just, he, he was ahead of the pack um, digitally than everyone else was. I'm not saying that's bad. That's, I mean, he just, he used the tools that he already had at his disposal. That's not bad, but my complaint against him is, and if you're a channel that talks about rideshare, you should try driving once in a while. And then you should actually try showing how much money, like, first and foremost, this is about money. Everyone likes money. Drivers, you're watching my videos because my first video was talking about how to make $1,200 in a week. And a lot of my video, my most popular videos, because I've, I've, I've checked the analytics for them. The ones where I talk about money, that's the ones where you guys are like, those are the ones that get the, the quickest amount of views or where I'm talking shit about Uber pool. Um, so that's, that's the problem I have with, with a lot of these big YouTube channels is you have rides your related content, but you're not driving. You're not out there like the avenues of making money are very are very small if you're not actually driving for uber like but his criticism of the ride rideshare professor uh it's fair i mean i i don't want to see rideshare professor because he's um he doesn't really give good information i mean he talks about being an Uber black driver, but he only, I've got, I've checked some of his videos and only a couple of them actually show his earnings and, and the simple driver was right. A lot of his videos were, were sign up in Madagascar, sign up in Singapore. Sign, it's like, yeah, that's, that's, that's weak. Um, and the ratchet professor really should not be talking about selling out because uh, I saw his Powerpod video. Yeah, guess what? 
Simple Driver might have sold out to Uber, in your opinion. I don't think he did. Um, you sold out to Power Pod for that piece of shit product. You're sitting there. All the passengers love it. Uh, great tips. Bullshit. How do your passengers love a product that doesn't work? <laughs> Come on, dude. Anyway, um, sorry, that's just a... Uh, He's talking shit about Calvin for, for selling out when he sold out to Power Pod. Anyway. <laughs> Everyone's got their hustle. I guess maybe that's the point of the video I'm trying to make. Everyone, a lot of these bigger channels have their hustle. Maybe not, but hey, you know what? That's why I'm going to keep singing the praises of uh, Jermaine Ellis. Jermaine, if you watch this video, you're my boy. You're, you're in my opinion, you're number one. That's... You're number one when it comes to sharing economy rideshare. Uh, the rideshare guy, Harry Campbell, he does have a good network. Um, and he does have good information for newer drivers. So that's cool too. Uh, the rest of those channels, I don't really follow that closely because like, I try watching these videos. And a lot of them are just people crying about Uber. It's just nonstop complaining about Uber. And like that's that's not right in my I don't if you if you hate Uber that much don't drive for him don't if 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 Uber brings so much negativity to your life then does it really help you to just talk about it so much it might be more therapeutic if you just didn't discuss it you know what I'm saying. Um, that's just my opinion on the matter. Cause like maybe that's my homework is, is, is me watching these, uh, I watch a lot of different YouTubers talk about Uber and literally I, I uh, an overwhelming majority is just Uber sucks for this reason. Uber sucks for this, Uber sucks for this reason. <sighs> Uber might suck for you. It doesn't suck for all of us, okay? That's 19 hours on the app. Um, this is why Uber might suck for you. Maybe because you're lazy. Maybe that's why Uber sucks. Maybe because you're not willing to get your ass in the car and drive eight to 10 hours a day. Maybe you're not willing to wake up at 3.30 in the morning. Maybe you wanna go out and drink on the weekends instead of work. Maybe that's why Uber sucks. Maybe Uber really sucks in your market. I don't know. But some channels like mine, we talk about certain things on Uber we may not like, but mostly we're talking about how to make money off Uber. Because first and foremost, like that's, that's where the focus should be on these channels is how to make money, how to improve earnings. How to, how to make the experience better for you and your passengers. Like, that's why my, I, ha I have these criticisms of all these channels. I mean, to his credit, the rideshare professor at least looks like he drives. I don't know how much. Um, but like, Uberman, simple driver, they don't drive. And if they are, they're not making any money off it. They're still trying to make money. So that's that's just my criticism of that. Um, that's, uh, I think that's all really I got for today. I just want to, I just want to give my feedback on that video I saw. Um, I don't dislike, I don't dislike. I would say out of the three, I mean. The, uh, the simple driver, uh, he's okay, I guess. I just don't, I, I think, uh, don't talk to me about ride share unless you're actually a driver. That's just my opinion on that. Um, but he had fair criticisms of the ride share professor. Uh, that's, uh, I think that's, that's, that's all I got for today. Um, I, uh... This is a slower morning than I thought it would be because I'm trying to have my $2,000 week for the channel, for you guys. Uh, 
I'm gonna come close. I don't know if it's possible. I, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to have a big day today to even come close to get my two thousand dollars. I don't think it's gonna happen though. But still fighting for it. Um. Yeah, that's all I got. Um. Like, comment, and share. I uh, hope everyone stays safe out there. Talk to you later. Bye.